The original Amiibo run may have been one of my favorite projects I've done on the channel, using only drops from the 24 Zelda figurines that exist to best their way through Breath of the Wild's Divine Beasts and Finale. Due to the randomness of Amiibo drops, every playthrough of the run is bound to be different depending on what you get. So what happens if we attempt this challenge once more, but this time with a bit of a kick? The original rules on the board are pretty straightforward. Only using each Zelda Amiibo once, we can't pick up any non-Amiibo loot unless it's bought with Amiibo earned rupees, and the few mandatory things are okay to use. This rule set does work, but we're going to add a few more that make the run more elevated, true to nature, and close up any potential loopholes too. 1. All champion abilities must be disabled, so no cheesing our way through with Ripples of Fury. 2. No using spirit orbs or heart containers, making it a 3 heart run. 3. Mandatory items must only be used for mandatory use, so no using the given bomb arrows outside of the Divine Beast takedowns. And most importantly, number 4, there will be absolutely no safe scaling amiibo drops. What we get is what we get. And if we don't have enough loot to power through the game's bosses, then the run must be restarted. There is a chance that the run could be failed early simply to awful amiibo luck, but we can only make it far by mitigating this luck with great material and weapon planning, to prevent a loss from attrition. And a heap of skill is necessary, as bosses will regen in master mode, causing more durability drain if we aren't fast enough taking them down. But I do believe in our strength and planning, given all the skills we have acquired across the runs. And luckily, this time around, we'll have one more amiibo to work with that came out since the last, albeit something weaker. Yeah, luckily, the plateau is going to be like the easiest part here, because we can do a pretty much amiibo list. Besides one small thing, the winner area, it's nothing that a few materials can't help with. Luckily, one of the Zelda amiibos in specific is good for just giving us materials. The Zelda amiibo, the Lothwung one, it's too bad it's like the priciest too. These things in store shelves are like a bonded pair. Um, <laughs> and it's not too much, but yeah, it's just a couple little weak drops. The blue nightshade, meat. Yeah, really just random, but the Lothwung amiibo is treated pretty much like any other non-Zelda amiibo. That's no different if you scan in like uh, like Tom Nook or something. Yeah, let's make sure to cook these things up first, just to get extra effect, so. Okay. And this one, not really for the hearts, but uh, one heart, but actually a little speed buff. All that much speedier through the snow. A whole 10%. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <gasps> ah, we're going to literally need every single second, actually. Yep, might as well start with the speed boost. <laughs> Let's go. It like barely affects a thing. <laughs> okay, well, we have to whistle sprint. Right over there. Uh, eat the skewer. Uh, 30 seconds left. Every second counts so much. It's so bad. 20 seconds. You did such a good thing. You were so close at helping me. My hand is aching so bad. <laughs> Come on, go, go, go. Not the snowball. No. <laughs> Not two deaths. It's a second of me where we have to die twice in the plateau. We're just not going to let it happen again. There's no way! He was actually being crafty. Fate has a weird way of kicking my ass, I swear. Uh, pains me not to be able to use uh, that thing. But we're going three hearts, one stamina wheel. Literally just <laughs> icing my arm after that uh, whistle sprint malfunction. We got the paraglider now. Probably what we need next is uh, a weapon, because we're pretty bare right now. And luckily, yeah, there's one amiibo that actually guaranteed drops us a weapon right away. So let's do him first. This one, the Bacoblin, because we'll guarantee he gets some sort of weapon of some type. Scan him in. Some meats, of course. Some Boko gut. <laughs> and what's in there? Huh. Okay, a shield. That wasn't really the type of weapon I was hoping for. Uh, I prefer the hitty sort of weapons. But still a weapon nonetheless. Most other amiibos in the game don't get their best loot tables unlocked until after clearing your first Divine Beast. So we want to hold off on those. But there are a few ones like, well, the Bacoblin that actually get their best loot tables just after clearing the plateau. So that's why we want to do all of these ones first, and then we can do the rest later. So let's do those other few. The next one will be our, uh, our Toon Link amiibo. This is the one from Smash Bros. Uh, his drops can be basic, but he does have a chance of getting a uh, decent armor, and also maybe his cool boomerang. Oh, on top of fishies. 
Ooh, okay. Attack boosting. <laughs> Resistance. I'm really happy for the Porgies. These are strong attack buff ones. Oh, we did get armor. <laughs> nice. The Trollsters of the Wind. Water resistant. I'll be the one to test that. But three defense. It's pretty good when you have minimal hearts. Next one we can do is going to be our uh, Wind Waker Link, which actually has the same drop table as the other one. Uh, oh. Of course, we get more fishies. Stamina. Mighty. Okay. And then in the chest. <gasps> we got his exclusive boomerang. What? Two exclusive things right in a row? Okay, that's actually really awesome. Well, it seems like luck is on our side for these first two. I've like never gotten this in a playthrough, like just in general. But we're starting with it? Guess it really likes the Wind Waker vibe. Okay. Let's throw that. Ooh. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I like the sheath for the boomerang. That's cool. <laughs> With this, we could probably start charging our first divine beast. The cheapest beast to go to would be uh, Meadow, just in the corner. There's not a lot of prerequisites for him. So well, let's get a good travel amiibo, which uh, let's get in 30th anniversary Twilight Princess Link. Plop him in there. Hey, Pona. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Onwards, horsey. Already one fifth of the amiibo scanned, but those are some of the weaker ones. Material-wise, yeah, it's actually pretty good between everything. <laughs> Opponent's currently not registered, so once we get a stable, uh, we can pay the small fee. The yeah. the Bridge stable. So let's put in two meats, which usually sell for like, I think like three a piece. And then, well, that sells for 30 actually. So <laughs> a lot of mandatory stuff requires rupees, like the Vice set and even Shock Arrows for Ruta. Mm. Yep, <laughs> fours across the boards. For anyone who has tetraphobia, I'm so sorry. And next amiibo is the last one that has their best tables unlocked uh, just after the plateau. And it's actually the first amiibo I've ever gotten. Uh, Smash Bros. Link. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> I don't actually know how to avoid this. It's because we're playing like the same day, technically. Damn it. Okay. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> it keeps just pulling in opponents from like different dimensions here. Opponent from every era. Yeah. <laughs> And hop on. Whoop. Nice. <laughs> All right. I think we're decently far from the stable now. Uh, let's try scanning them in here. Round a billion of Twilight Princess. Damn it. What is going on? Opponas, please stop. Please work. <laughs> I forgot we got to be slow here. Wait, yeah. Theoretically, if we spawn uh, our amiibo in the village, then it shouldn't spawn a horse, right? That wouldn't make sense. Oh, a horse might spawn down here. Let's just be extra, extra cautious. This should be a nice spawning platform. If opponent spawns up here, it's gonna be something really weird, but. Normal drops. Yes, okay. <laughs> and we get fruits. Nice. More heat resistance. Uh, this is an area we need cold resistance, but. Oh, I didn't even see that hiding behind there. Cool. Open up our chest. Shock arrows, okay. <laughs> Not very good against blights. Um, yeah, with that, we uh, we got everything from the six amiibos that have the best drop tables right now. Only problem is for Meadow, uh, we're missing two major things. Uh, one is some cold resistance, and the second thing we're missing is uh, a bow now. Well, for that cold resistance, uh, these guys will help. Need a bit more funds though. We have more to sell off, luckily. If we just make a basic base dish, Fish score. I want to say that's more than enough. But if we cook the food, uh, it increases the cell value of the meat. That's 20. And that's 40. Nice. We will take them. Actually, let's cook up the stuff we don't need um, to sell. Nightshade. Meat, meat. Fishy. Throw it in. Okay. Just potting off all my food. 70 rupees. Okay. Well, that should be enough, actually, then. To buy uh, the rest of the arrows. Okay. <laughs> there we go, we have 15 arrows. And the, the five shock. Nice. So first, let's make the, the cold resistant stuff. The sun shrooms were potent, so four of those. One spicy pepper. Hopefully good duration on this guy. Okay, 1230. That doesn't give us a lot of time through the cold area. 
Yeah. Wild berries. Just for some health restore, at least. Yeah, you know what? Stamina Bass actually can be very good. It's one wheel a piece, so it's like a full restore. Well, only last thing we need before we do uh, this whole quest line is a bow. The best amiibo to get us a bow would actually be the Revali amiibo, because this one's really nice. It's like an almost guaranteed chance to get a bow every single time. So the odds are pretty well in our favor. Oh. Open this. Swallow bow, nice, okay, yeah. <laughs> These are good, the attack up's gonna be perfect actually, but it has faster draw and faster uh, range. Yeah, so the thing about Revali is that uh, he's actually one of the many amiibos that get their best drop tables after uh, clearing your first beast, but he actually has a better chance of dropping a bow now beforehand, because after the divine beast, it adds the divine helmet to his loot table. And since our goal is just a bow of any sort right now, uh, I feel like that was a pretty smart move. That divine helmet wouldn't have been very good past the section anyways, so that's nice. A 20 arrows. Well, we're rocking a full set of equipment though, and in a sense, just one clothing. That's that's all we need. We can't safely get into there without a wind bomb, and a wind bomb means uh health drain. Oh, what are your whatever you're doing, Opona? Stop writing into the wall. That's scaring me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> also, there's a few strats we can do. Uh to use less weapons, but it'll add more time. Okay. Well, I hit the cold area. We're charging into it now. Oh no. Okay. Just ride the wind up. Okay, it's a full health restore, so we'll wait till we're almost dead then. Bomb mode. It works just fine. Quite literally just do this. Drop a bomb. Blow it up. Drop a bomb. Blow it up. Close. <laughs> Missed, and also we're gonna die, so now it's time for that. Okay, we're doing it fast. Nice, and one more. Oh, right there. <laughs> oh, come on, it didn't count. That counts. <laughs> Phase one of four done for Operation Meadow. So these ones are mandatory. Um, this way we can save up on a bow durability. This means we have to do Meadow very fast. Fall, so we don't get hit. I was actually very close. And then blow him up. <laughs> and then hit him again. Nice. <laughs> nope. Ah, come on. <sighs> okay, it's just barely regenerating, but we're still doing more damage. Yep. Yes. <laughs> and yes, okay. First cannon down. Yes. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Throws it right on to death. Okay, that was scary, like four minutes through that section. <laughs> That's a big portion of our buff, because we still have the beast itself to do. Okay, eight minutes, just over. If you do a terminal a minute, yeah, we should have a couple minutes for the boss then. <laughs> just don't fumble on stupid stuff. Get on it, okay. <laughs> just barely, actually. Don't laser me. Whoop! So close! Whoop! Damn it! Nope, and I went the wrong way. <laughs> oh no. Okay. This time I'm just using the arrow because it's fast. And less annoying. Ah, okay. <laughs> We're fine. Yeah, I forgot these are really close at least. We're gonna make this one easy for myself. Gradually bring it down as we go. From there we can just shoot it. Damn it. And no stamina, but come on, go, 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 go. Ah, my life. Wait, I think we're fine. Yes, we are. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, later, later we will. <laughs> Stop. Uh, oh, wow, we just got it. Okay. <laughs> I just lifted it back in time. You know, actually not bad. <laughs> this whole beast took us just as long as uh, bombing the cannons outside. Last one. Okay, that gives us over four minutes. I don't have any more raw food, but uh, for Windblight, we're pretty much a one-shot regardless, so shield, swallow bow, and the boomerang. But hopefully we'll have just enough to uh, beat him. He has 800 health. Okay, let's do it. You know, I don't want to shoot right away, because if we can get a parry, start... Tornado, right. Um, <laughs> I knew that. His aim is dead on. Okay, let's shoot something at me. Yes! Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay, nice. 
Oh, damn. We can't waste arrows. Just gotta get out. Hit the eye, though? Nice. Okay. Oh, well, I thought it was the third one. No. Don't use your gun. I actually use your gun. Nice. Okay. Oh, no. What? It's so annoying. Only have a couple arrows left, too. What? Ah, there we go. Okay. I guess the boomerang, if we hit it into it more. Yep, we can. Okay. It doesn't go backwards. That's just to stop regen. The behind lasers, though. It was a pretty good strategy. Okay, so... Nice. Not nice. Oh. Oh, no! I jumped for it, too. Yes! Yes! Okay, on the back down. <laughs> There's my boomerang. Take it. Just hit him again. I don't know. Does extra damage when you throw it, so... 50% more. Nice. That's actually going to be really good for bosses. Okay, just outrun. Outrun that stupid stuff happening. You keep shooting it into it. I can't do anything. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Damn it. It's a whole kill field. <gasps> that was so good, though. Two. It's fast draw. Oh, easy one. There we go. Again, catch it. Catch it. <laughs> Just like rebounding off his corpse. <laughs> nice. Okay. Wow. Five. Woo. Oh, already. Nice. Okay. That went by amazingly. Where'd that boomerang go? There it is. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yep. Throw it at him. Okay. <laughs> Rebound. I don't know where that went. There it went. Okay. We have the arrows. Oh, we got it. Okay. Uh, boomerang. Throw. Wait, no, boomerang. Boomerang. No. Oh, come on. Yes, we did it. Okay. I don't know why I didn't want to waste the one arrow. That boomerang is actually so good for bosses. Because instead of 20 damage, it's literally doing 30. So, that was probably the most fun fight I've ever done for Windblight. Like, that was actually cool. Getting the parries for the shots and throwing the boomerang. Okay, Revali's Gale. Something we can't use. Uh, so, we'll be, uh... Turning that off real quick. Bye bye. <laughs> but with the first Divine Beast done, that means every other amiibo in the game has their best drop tables unlocked. So, while there is technically one amiibo we can scan, that could potentially give us the best item in the game, and it will be the uh, Princess Zelda Smash amiibo. There is a chance of getting the Twilight Bow, which is literally like a weakened bow of light. Oh, <laughs> scared her. Okay, we can get some nice plants. Carrots. Okay. Not the worst. I'm just so happy we got a bow at least. Uh, <laughs> bows are very rare, so we have to cherish bows. So I'm actually very happy we got that. We just need more arrows to use with it. Um, so we have a lot of attack boosting. Four bananas, two carps, a porgy, and thistle. We can easily make two uh, level three attack boosting dishes. And we can use those for uh, the later Divine Beast fights, except for Fire Blight. Because Fire Blight, we're going to have to have... Uh, Fireproof, which we'll get ingredients for soon. So I think it'll be pretty smart to take on Fire Blight next, because uh, we can save the attack boosting stuff for when those blights are scaled to more health. So we get more use out of it. Individually cook uh, the healing stuff. We do have the apple, but uh, there's always a better use for the apple. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Toasted the apple. Baked apple, there we go. <laughs> and luckily with the baked apple, it's not as good as cooking it, but I didn't realize this village was that kind of honeymoon resort. Uh, is that not the person for the baked apple quest line? Was it that person? They just won't talk to us because we're half naked. <laughs> but I guess since we don't have a shirt on, we can't do it. <laughs> we can just come back when we hopefully maybe have a shirt. <laughs> really thinking of the petty strats now, aren't we? <laughs> okay, so on the ride to uh, Rudania, we can think of what amiibos would be best to scan for uh, well, eventually making it up there and taking them on. Yeah, having a wooden weapon wouldn't help, so dodge this guy first. Uh-oh. Ow! I'm so sorry, Epona. That was really bad. Oh, weapon's on fire. Oh! Okay. No one beats your prices. 
as he has the worst arrow prices in the game. So five arrows is 30 from him. Other shops is 20. The smothering butterflies. We're gonna clean out his stock actually, uh, which we can. We'll come back on a close restock. Oh. Uh, we can't have that. Nope, sorry, waste an arrow, but <laughs> we're not having that death right now. <laughs> we already have eight of them. <laughs> Usually buying things only good for like materials, but this guy's a little special. Soldier shield, 100 rupees? No. You know what? This is the way we could get a shield, but obviously, you know, it's a it's a hefty price for a shield that won't uh, burn up in the fiery area. But that's a backup just in case. Anyway, we are going to run away from the guys who are charging us right behind us. You can deal with them, uh, Russ. <laughs> yeah, okay. Have fun, Russ. Do something with shields. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Russ, you didn't save me. Come on. <laughs> Night is too tricky. Before I check out anything at the stable, I'll just quickly work back to this one. Buy some more butterflies out, because we'll need a bunch. Ah, okay, they're back in stock, because we went far from the area and it passed midnight. Don't have the finances, though, for that. So I think for that, we'll have to consult probably the best financial advisor in Hyrule. This man knows exactly what he's dealing with when it comes to money. That is Ganondorf. He gets all the riches, so. And barrels. Of course, barrels. And guts, of course. Let's get that. Open that chest. We get. More often than not, he drops some sort of good gemstone, but I really can't complain on a Knight's Claymore. That's a very rare drop for him. Like, in a lot of ways, I don't think we're gonna get a better weapon than this in the run. That just caught me really off guard. But can we break this stuff this way? Oh, we can, yes, okay. <laughs> That is the best way. Okay. Arrow and 20. Oh, the best one. So really it's not like crazy money or anything. Uh, usually Gandorf does, but as a replacement, I'll take this very nice weapon. Take them all. And we'll come back once more when it passes midnight. Before we deal with potions though, uh, I feel like it's only most fitting to uh, scan in the most relevant amiibo here. Good evening. Uh, well, not you, but uh, your brother, Daruk. So, let's scan him in. Just right here. Oh! <laughs> That's a lot of flint. <laughs> but he has a chance of dropping his uh, fireproof divine helm. <laughs> it's not, but that's really good. Okay, I'll, I mean, I'll take another two-handed weapon. We're getting cracked with the weapons. I don't want to say that this luck is going to keep persisting though, so I will have to cherish these because we could get like all crap drops after this. 10 done, we're almost halfway done with the drops and a lot of the other ones have worse drop tables actually. Four butterflies actually. And a gut. Gut helps for the duration. Okay, 13 minutes, level two. But in the meantime, we need one potion for just making it to Goron City. But wait a second. Yeah, what if we combine one butterfly with a Bokoblin Gut. Because we'll still have one extra. Oh, 540 just to make it to Goron City before we use our level 2 stuff. Actually, that's good at just using the stuff we have. I'm happy with the odds right now, but uh, <laughs> it could go in any, any direction. We could take the normal route with the horse up, or I can take the side route where I can climb the tower, and then I can glide off the tower. I'm honest, I might do that because the tower isn't in the volcanic area. But it's also the more dangerous way. Let's see if we made the right choice here. Okay, go, go, go. <laughs> it's Flame Mountain. Oh, wow. Okay. This is more than I thought. <laughs> oh, in my screen. Oh, and right into a choo choo. Great. And rocks. A lot of rocks. Oh, no. Don't blow up in my face. This was actually not a good idea. <laughs> but we're doing it anyways. What are you? Oh, friend. Can you help me with the fire? I, I know you don't like fire either. Alas, useless. <laughs> keep running, keep running. It Oh, that's a bow guy. Okay. <laughs> Took care of the bow guy. Bow guys suck. That was very unsafe. Uh, <laughs> if we start with the wind bomb, that honestly might be best. Even if it's the cost of a heart. Okay. <laughs> Gonna start burning up. Good time for that potion. <laughs> oh, I forgot the soldier's bow is... <laughs> it's considered wooden. Because it's like half wood, which... <laughs> Only have it out when we need it then. Our only real obstacle here is the flaming rocks are gonna fall. Oh, and that is 
Rocks, rocks. No, run, run, run. <laughs> In the water. We're safe. And we can restore health. Wait. To save some time, since we have four minutes still, we can technically take a detour to get a further warp point. Just spit it at me. It's funny. <laughs> yeah. Now we're just walking over here with the level one. So as soon as we finish the mines and talk to Bluto, uh, we can just warp right here and do the beast. Okay. Hi, Drill Chef Cave. <laughs> just saying hi because we have some time to kill. Please bless us good luck. We need it. That's really... Okay. The final thing we got to do here with the uh, Flame Guard is just unlock this warp point. One minute left. But we don't need to be here. Whoop! Okay. <laughs> Back home. Nice. For the butterflies. Cobblin Gut. 13 minutes. Okay. So like uh, 26 minutes to do the whole section now. I guess before we fully indulge into it, uh, let's just make sure we're good in all other aspects. So... I know for sure we need some more arrows for both stuff, and maybe having a metallic shield could be nice too. A 20 rupees a bundle, there's three bundles, and we have two rupees. Uh, we'll have to make some money first, and wait, we can kill two birds with one stone. Make money, potentially get a shield. There's two amiibos that are like that. Uh, it's both the Zelda ones. The uh, Toon Zelda, and then the, uh, the Breath of the Wild Zelda. We can get either good materials or shield from them, so good chance that one of them will be solved. Let's just chop up some grass so you can see what we're doing. Well, first one's first. We will do uh, the Breath of the Wild Zelda. Hopefully for good materials or shield. Flowers. <gasps> pumpkin! Yay! <laughs> Love my lumpy pumpkin. Plans for eating or selling. Oh, and we got a good material for selling. Okay. <laughs> Looks like those arrows are in business now. Okay, and last one for now will be um, the 30th anniversary Toon Zelda, which this one's kind of similar, but uh, it actually has a chance to get us the Hero Shield, which is an exclusive one, but also rare, like more plants. <laughs> Nothing crazy with the plants for her, her, but shield, please. It's also material, uh, <laughs> not as good. We can't always expect good things. We've been just getting a little too lucky. <laughs> okay, well. We're like halfway through the amiibos now, um, right before the beast, so although we have really good stuff, uh, we still have three more Blights and Ganon to take on. So just having this, you know, isn't a full lot. A 180 and a 60, buys plenty of arrows, take them all. Okay, that's all we needed. So sucks for the shield, but uh, we'll just kind of have to be something we suck up. <laughs> Alright, onwards, onwards time. Let's do... The flame segment. Well, it's time to just go for it. First elixir. Oh, that's actually dangerous. <laughs> Yeesh. Literally look like a Final Fantasy character right now or something. Like, <laughs> giant weapon. Not as just a silly thing, as a cool thing. So after this, we can just warp back to Goron City. Talk to the Elder. Break in his back. We save like two minutes walking all the way there with this good buff. Let's just warp there now. Yeah, we gotta be pretty clever for this one. How do we get over without alerting? Oh. Okay. Um, let's back away for a second. Clearly, did not expect the alternative way. Okay, I can just float above. We'll get noticed for sure by the other one. Yep. Noticing what? Most enemies don't do that, but these guys are special. Nope! Oh! We are so close. Don't see me. Wait, I have a solution. And a strategy. Okay. Best strategy. Kick it down. And he should get distracted by the bomb. And we should be just good enough. Yes! Insta-kill! Okay! And then just lurts him. <laughs> He's the dangerous one, though. He's got the drill shaft. Run! No! <laughs> okay, uh, we need a helping hand. Luckily for that, we have none other than our wolf companion. This is the best time to summon him. Go in there. Go, go, go. Scan, you idiot. Sorry, didn't mean to call you an idiot. It's just, I'm, I'm really, uh, being chased right now. Wolf Link, go. Please, we're being chased by a drill shaft. Scan. There we go. <gasps> wolf Link, yes! Okay, you got this, buddy. <laughs> Attack the Moblin that's holding the drill shaft hostage. Yes. <laughs> that's the boat you're in. 
Blow that up. Okay. And then Will Flink goes in <laughs> for the sweeping runs. He missed. That's okay. Oh, no. Ah! Okay, good. <gasps> He's getting mighty close to that drill shaft. Oh, sorry, puppy. Uh, down the cliff. Puppy, yes. Okay. <laughs> Not good. He's right there. He's right there. They go so fast. So I can do my runs. Actually, I'll take the bomb back. Just go like that. And then you in there. And come on. Puppy finish. Yes. The drill shaft is free. <laughs> Before we care more about the drill shaft being free than the Nobo. That is our 13th out of 25th. So really only 12 left. <laughs> Well, now we have about 20 minutes to do the whole boarding beast and boss. It's good that we got the warp early, because we save some time. Well, now we just got the beast and the boss. Won't be that bad. Uh, beast, we can use a lot of bombs to get through. Well, we got to move the fire and uh, just one wooden weapon for it. It's probably the best one to have for moving flame. We'll pop on over. Good. Okay. So we can run during that. Nice! And we got it. Okay. <laughs> we ditched it just in time. Oh. That wasn't in time, but only a heart gone. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> Still love this. The fact that we got an exclusive weapon. Majority of all Amiibo playthroughs, you'll never see one of these things. So, I'm happy. <laughs> can we do bomb for this? I don't... Wait, we can use bomb for this, can't we? Yeah. Not like that. Yeah, we can go up here, can't we? Nice. Let's get it out of there. Early, in fact. Let's put it in front. Nice. <laughs> A no-use way of solving it. <laughs> okay. Next is you. That played all cooler in my head. Okay. <laughs> That's how it played out in my head. <laughs> right back to me. The Swallowbone, Seabreeze, Boomerang. Actually, an interesting mix together. If you look at my back, it looks kind of like it's a part of it. If Bo's had that shape. <laughs> So we'll have five minutes to take on Fire Blight. That should be enough time. I'm pretty sure we can just drop an eyeball. Oh wait, no we can't. Oh, my health. Get out, get out, no. Oh no. Well, that just sucks. Oh, in the lava. That was really bad. I'm just happy we still gonna be alive after that. <gasps> ah. Okay, we're doing it again though. Round two. Gotta work. It worked! Nice! <laughs> that should work. That's always a good strategy. <laughs> okay, just under five minutes to do this. Um, weapons just in case. It's pretty tiered. Take those out when needed, I guess. Um, <laughs> Fire Blight is the most pushover beast. So we're gonna be using the least amount of stuff for this. Because we still gotta save most of the durability for the actual hard fights. Going in with the uh, Final Fantasy aesthetic. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Watch out for the sword. <laughs> Watch out for these bombs. Okay. Isn't too bad when you do it like this. Oh, he gets up right away, though. Oh. And there goes the health back. <laughs> okay. You need to hit him at least once so he stays down for a bit. And then go back with the bombs. Extra damage. He's only Blight we can really do it like this with, so. <laughs> oh. Damn. See that health? <laughs> Health regen can really counteract uh, this flame guard buff we have. Can't let that happen. <laughs> oh, one more. And then two more. Get him in. And one more swipe. Yes, okay. <laughs> He's a tanky monster. <laughs> Even for just a second blight. 1200. That. And one more. Nice, okay. <laughs> oh, but he is going to go very far. Two shots, okay. Tuck away that bow instantly. Get the bombs in. One more, come on. Two. Yes, okay. <gasps> He's getting cobble crushed right now. Jeez. Can't have that. Two. Happens sometimes. Badly damaged? Oh no. That's a pretty good weapon too. Nice, okay. We can't use any more of that. There we go. He didn't regen any ticks. We still have 46 seconds left. We might have to cobble crush him to death to finish him. Yep. Oh, so close. Okay. Goodbye, cobble crusher. Okay. Do it for Bobby. <laughs> the Bobby bombs. Go. <laughs> Come on, just 
Box bomb. Yes, box bomb did it. <laughs> ah, thankfully. Took us that whole cobble crusher though. And that's probably one of the best weapons we'll ever get for scans. That really scares me for what's up ahead. We still have a lot of amiibos left. 12 more, two more blights, and one more big gan at the end. Let's see how we do. I do wind bombs because they look and feel cool. BLS looks silly. <laughs> it's a stupid reason, but uh, wind bombs feel like it could be like an intended feature of the game itself. That's why I like using them. Oh, and we'll just go across this gap here. Nice. Love the interesting terrain. Oh, not him. He's not injured. He just like dived for me as soon as he came into view. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, the wolf pack's after me. Uh, oh, they're about ready to pounce. Eat. Okay, <laughs> let's get out of there. I'm over at the stable. I uh, feel like it's a good time to scan in uh, just one of our loose amiibos. This one's actually technically one of the worst ones, uh, but it's okay that we're doing it now. It's uh, the Breath of the Wild Link Rider one. It's sad that's one of the worst, but since we're at a stable, it's kind of fitting, so. Okay. Well, the side stuff's gonna be good. Oh, attack boosting stuff. And the chest. <laughs> You're kidding me. To get a weapon from this guy is very rare, so I did not expect that, and... <laughs> you know, it's so fitting, it's right next to the desert too, so, uh, we can actually use this for, uh, Nabor's coming up. Uh, I don't like this guy. <laughs> let's back out. Actually, I just don't like that it's night, because night is cold. Wait, let's see if we can cook up some stuff to help with this. Wait, can Zaflina be used by itself? I don't remember. We're just gonna do it. A very mild cold resistance, but, uh... Works for crossing the desert really quick. I'm gonna very quickly uh, just rush to Grudo Town. Okay. All we gotta do is talk to this guy. Only problem with that though is uh, we don't quite have the finances. We need 600 rupees and we have uh, 182. We will need to sell some more stuff. Maybe scan some new things to sell as well. Oh, don't hit the rock though. I gotta keep it nice for uh, Thunderblades because wood weapons are good against his electricity. We have to do the most fitting of evil here, which would of course be Urbosa. There's a good chance we're gonna get a Gerudo weapon or maybe the Divine Helm. Meats. Oh, actually Gerudo shield's nice. It'll go really nice with uh, Simtar. Durability, okay. <laughs> Wait, we're actually rocking a mini Gerudo aesthetic. And it looks really cool with uh, the white pants and uh, no shirt. <laughs> Damn, actually a cool fit for the Amiibo run. You know, if it's pure money we're after, instead of just, like, cooking up random things to try to sell, let's try to just sell some stuff that's better for selling. And, uh, luckily, the Guardian is very helpful with that. And hopefully we can get a nice, uh, ancient weapon from it. Oop. <laughs> Bouncy chest. Yikes, I know, right? <laughs> Falling crates. In these crates, some pretty good stuff. Oh, <laughs> more bouncy things. Woo! <laughs> okay, that did it. Oh, an amber? Let's get it. Woo. Wait, come on. I set the angle perfectly. Okay. More just kind of random little stuff. But let's see what's in the chest. Really hoping for a nice weapon here. Ah. <laughs> Surprisingly, that's like literally one of the worst things this amiibo can drop. But how much does it sell for? 80's not awful. And that's 30. Well, there's actually one more pretty good one we can do. Uh, Amiibo-wise, to hopefully get some good money drops. This one's actually pretty unique in what it drops, too. It'll be, uh, the Skyward Sword Anniversary Link. Because, uh, its side drops are a lot different than just random loose materials. Oh. <laughs> They're crates. I don't think this method is as efficient. <laughs> oh, it is. There we go. <laughs> okay. Come on. It's very specific on how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> the flick. Oh, it landed. Uh, stay with me. There's like a 10% shot every time. Oh, <laughs> just come storming in, just whipping around. It. <laughs> okay, that was actually really fast. <gasps> oh, decent money. But what's in the chest now? Another shield? Um, <laughs> they're just handing these things away. You know, I'll still take it. In case we are, we're really clumsy with our parries, we'll have more shields now. <laughs> Why don't we have the shield luck up before? 
the volcanic section. Come on. But okay, we got a little bit more all around. Let's see. I don't think I'll need movement speed. Um, same with electricity resistance. And I don't think I'll use uh, defense up. 10 minute level 3. Stealth, I don't think we need that anymore. Okay, I can part with that. I want to prioritize attack, for sure. Have to get good value out of our weapons. You know, just be the armor and the... We gotta keep our lucky pumpkin. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, we're gonna sell, um... I can't sell the fireproof. Uh, okay, we'll stealth for 40. We can sell that. A lot of planning, but... 10 rupees, and... Come on, a couple more. Uh... <laughs> We'll give him a chicken drumstick. Why did that one sell for 20? <laughs> and those other big ones sold for less. 600 rupees. Perfect. And sadly, we will have to buy more stuff. But uh, for now, we got the next big thing. Yee. The best look still is uh, this. Just white pants, which actually goes very well with it. Uh, somewhat. Maybe not the boots. Well, that could be a style. Just strolling in. Full warrior. <laughs> Damn, how rare is it to see like a full theme? In like a randomized run like the amiibo okay this shop's gonna be pretty important soon uh because these shock arrows we're gonna need for ruta we have five we're gonna need 15 more and then the whole swarm no <laughs> oh you have to ride my path okay as long as you keep sprinting i think you're okay that's a lot that's a lot <laughs> just like eight shot bows pretty much whoa <laughs> the whole bottom of my screen just drenched in arrow Oh, get him. Okay, throw. <laughs> Again, I thought it was going to be cooler, but... <laughs> hmm, let's do it the safest way possible. Can we just throw it like that? Actually, yes. Yep. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> we can actually just do it that way that easily? <laughs> I guess so, I never tried that. Well, we have a lot of weapons for this fight. But we're not going to use any of them. Boop. Just do that. Uh, boop. Go in. Speak. <laughs> nice. Oops. No. <laughs> so we're going to need a level 3 attack buff. And also for the future Blight and Ganon. So, yeah, ideally three level 3 attack buffs. You need seven potency points to create a level 3 attack buff. Bananas are two. Carps are two, thistles are one, porgies are three. So, if I did a porgy and two carps, that's three, four, five, six, seven, that'll create a level three. Three razor shrooms, six points, uh, and then a thistle, that's another one, and then four bananas is another one. We literally have enough to create three uh, attack buffs. Throw them in. Same buff, okay. Just some meat resistance, too. Oh, yeah. These bomb arrows, how it's going to work. We're just going to use what we do during the part and nothing else afterwards. Because it's mandatory that we have to use bomb arrows. So, we're going to use the mandatory items. And any overdraft will just uh, stow away and never touch. This might be one of the hardest parts of the runs. Scratch that. It will be one of the hardest parts of the run. Uh... Oh, okay. Which leg's going to move? Okay, that one is. Two in a row, so it doesn't regen. We're playing this very safe. There we go. Oh, it's badly damaged now. No. Okay. Oh, that was too close. We were right on just the rim. We have to move faster, though, if we want a shot. We're taking aim. Oh, perfect. Okay, it just broke. Get in. Get in. Okay. Okay. We're safe. Wait for that. Now we just charge. No consequences. Boom! Yes! Okay! Oh, we were so close. And a crash. But that was done. Still close calls, but our first go was actually really nice. Goodbye, Swallow Bow, but... It's not gonna pull up this damn shield of mine. I hate this one. Because you have to go like that. What? I parry too early. I was trying to bomb parry that. Damn it. Worst case scenario. Blowing up your shield. Oh, he's dancing. Okay. <laughs> he was really grooving. Whoop. Nice. That's what we need to do. Just like that. Oh, wait. He might swipe. Yep. Okay, good. We got him. 
Woo! <laughs> and dodge that. And actually, this isn't bad because uh, we cleared the mouse earlier. So we can just fly into the terminal now. We don't have to take that uh, death elevator with the guardian. Okay. Yep. We got the eyeball earlier, so the mouse is clear. <laughs> we can just fly in and get the next one. And <laughs> it's going to be a long drop in. Boink. It's like a Plinko machine. We got it. Whoop. Nice. Got the gate open. And get it. <laughs> oh, wait. We still need to finish the room. I forgot. <laughs> Actually, shouldn't be too awful. Come over here. And damn it. You ruined the shock trap. <laughs> I was trying to shock trap him, but then, uh, well, I got guardian trapped, so. <laughs> I guess it's a freebie because, uh, well, we got out of the hell room. It just cost it a death, sadly. <laughs> yeah, the reason why I'm just not fighting stuff is because I need to use all the weapons for the bosses. So as it stands, uh, I know it's pretty damaged. That's fairly fresh, and that has some good hits taken out, too. But I think all in all, it should be enough to take out Thunderblight. Plus with these shields. This is, this might be the hardest fight, honestly. Attack buff, the banana specifically. Let's have at it. Yes, okay. Swiping back. Okay, the damage needs to crank up a bit. Ooh, a flurry. Hopefully not off the platform. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn it. Okay. Yeah, he regened almost all that. Four basic hits. Another four. Oh, broke the shield because the final hit. Okay. <laughs> ah, he's going up right away, though. Uh, where's that coming from? He's there. Uh, they're getting stuck. <laughs> Woo! The final. Yes. Okay. Like two wax. Nice. Okay. A good phase one. This is so just heart pounding. We got to get him right away. Otherwise, he's going to regen so much. Where are, you? Where are you? You're somewhere there. Yes. Blow him back. Okay. Good. Uh, I don't know where he went, though. There he is. Oh. oh woo uh, just a barrage. Oh, come on. <laughs> Grudo static working wonders. Oh. Perry. Nice. Okay. Yes. Hit him back with the boomerang. Nice. It never fails. I don't know where it went. It went there. Wood weapons. Oh, that's dangerous. He's going for that one. Is our chance. Did it. Throw the boomerang. No! No! Okay, beat him down. Yes! I don't care. Just destroy him. Big sword. Yes, we did it. Okay. Ah, I wasn't doing any more games with him. Boomerang. They always come back. Aha! We're over here. Take it for a ride <laughs> across the major uh, sand sea of rock. Yeah. Let's take it for a little run. Don't even tell me it went through the ground. We better have not lost our boomerang. I was straight up just turning the beast because I want to see if I could after the fight. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, good. First go. I'm doing it for you, Boomerang. I'm doing it for you. No, regen shield. Uh, where is my thing? Take, take. Yes. Oh, come on. Yes. And then, I guess arrow finishers. Shoot him in the head, please. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And Boomerang. Boom, yes. <laughs> <gasps> oh, boom the rang on him. Okay, I never want to be in a boat like that again. <laughs> Had to fight the same boss and the most annoying boss twice in the same playthrough. Yeah, restarting the fight wasn't the worst because we have more weapon durability going into the next two blights. So in order to do Ruta, we need to have 20 shock arrows. Uh, we have five. These sell in bundles of 10. Uh, so we can scan more stuff for more materials so we can get money. Well, unless there's a chance we just get shock arrow drops too. I guess it'll be a fitting time to do uh, Archer Link. 
Does he have a bought a 50-50 shot to get either uh, a bow or some arrows from him? Shock arrows would be cool, but honestly, a bow would be better. Ooh, <laughs> assorted stuff. Glowfishy! Yeah! <laughs> oh, a hearty bass! Nice. And we get... <laughs> Actually, I think it listened to us. You know, that's not bad, because now we just have to buy one bundle of arrows now. It's not a bow, but we got it from an amiibo. So, very cool. <laughs> Another that can be fun, um, it's actually <laughs> the big chunky one, Ape and Amiibo. It's just all blocks. He does have an exclusive armor set and a sword, too. That's called sword. So, let's scan it and see what we get. Oh, and barrels <laughs> that just spawn in. Oh, <laughs> more of that. Easy ones, though. And yeah, just some. Not quite the 180 though. What's in our chest? Oh, okay. That's a knight to your broadsword. Actually, it's good. We need another melee weapon. It's attack up five. Cool. Actually, yeah, that's gonna be really nice for us. Thing is, yeah, 140. And we can cook stuff up and sell them more too. But uh, now that we have a type of shirt, actually, we can do what we're talking about for a while with the baked apple. And even Flint, too. Quick pit stop at another little area. Well, now we can finally go to you. La la. You can talk to me. I'm wearing a little partial shirt. Better bring me a baked apple. Well, you're in luck. <laughs> a present for one baked apple. Silver rupee, 100 rupees, just for that. I'd say I forgot it was that much. Bring as many as possible. I think that could be arranged. We just got a bunch. We know what to do. Four apps. Oh, no, no, not in the pot, no, no! I meant to drop it on the floor. I can say the good news, um, she doesn't buy them for a hundred a piece anymore. So it's, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's okay, we can still sell this for uh, rupees. How much does she buy the baked apples for anyways? I'm just curious. <laughs> okay, she'll buy them for five rupees each, the baked apples. But it's more if you have a bigger quantity at once. Uh, wait, that's actually interesting. But if you give her five, it's six rupees an apple. If you give her 10, it's seven. 50 baked apples is 10 a piece. And 100 baked apples is 12 a piece. So those four baked apples would have been uh, five a piece, so 20 rupees. How much can we sell it for? 30, wait. <laughs> it was, you're telling me it was actually a better deal to do it this way? You only really get more if it's like a huge bulk order of baked apple. We made an extra 10 rupees just for messing up. Okay. <laughs> nice. Misfortune has its benefits. That leaves us with one more thing. He needs flint for the fire. I can't sell you a piece. 100 rupees just for the flint. Wow, flint's actually worth something now. Well, if you want the rest of the flint, uh, no way I'm gonna cook that by mistake. Can you sell me five of them? 30 rupees, okay. <laughs> Apple of my eye and the spark of romance. Good way to dump all your unused and unwanted flints and baked apples. So handy. Thanks, Ritter Village. After buying the shock arrows, it's just gonna be a quick warp to there and we can charge to Ruta. That's all we need. We still left over. Uh, 182 left. So we can buy some loose arrows that we need. Be helpful for the final bosses. But also, we need to make sure uh, we're still gonna get another bow, because that's still up in the air. We're going naked again. Wait. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry, we got a rock, uh. <laughs> Yes. We love shirtless looks with giant ass swords. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this should be pretty quick. We'll be in the Divine Beast in no time. Let's be slow. Oh, we can't really be slow. Oh, <laughs> that would have been us. Oh, yeah, blow your thing while I get away. Okay, just keep going to the tower. We can float on past. Nice. Get some extra distance. Are we going to run out of stamina? Uh, no, we're not. Because we have these. <laughs> Might as well use them now. Get a heart back and full wheel. That's pretty efficient. Uh, yeah? Oh! <laughs> okay, first go. Uh, please stop, okay, thank you. Nice wind bomb, yay. <laughs> Again, just a small health sacrifice. Oh, damn. It's damn time. <laughs> well, there it is already, but... Yeah, before we do it, um... There is an amiibo that can really help with us, and is fitting, which is Mifa, the last champion. So, 
probably get a Zoro weapon of some sort. Uh, if not, maybe the Divine Helm. And of course, Fishies. Okay, well, this is Zora Spear. Uh, but attack up four. That's good. We'll save that for the boss, because, uh, yeah, the reach can sometimes be an issue. Just go. Drop you off. Bye-bye. Unneeded. But just in case, let's scan in one more thing. Uh, that could be pretty fun. This one kind of, uh, scans in assortments, but this is Sheik from Smash Bros. We can get anything from, like, a Phrenic Bow to an Eightfold Blade. Pretty much anything Sheikah we could possibly get, including, uh, its cool mask, so. <laughs> Mushies. Oh, first one of those. Open that up. <gasps> we did get its cool mask! Oh, that's awesome! We got the long bangs with that. Okay, equip that. <laughs> yes! Wait, that's actually cool with the, the pants! This one also worked off for, like, the desert, too. Like, oh, I love this a lot, actually. Drippy. Very drippy. <laughs> okay, let's do the water one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ready. Ooh, snappy. What? Again, please. No! Aha! <laughs> An extra hit. Let's end his little show. <laughs> it's the beam hallway. You move slow that far back, though. Okay. <laughs> scoop back up, and then scoop back that way. Oh, nope. Not quite. Uh, keep going down, please. We still have stamina. It's okay. Now, scoot me back up. Nope, scoot me back down. <laughs> We're never gonna win, are we? There we go. Now we're safe. Now, scoot me back up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Mechanical scoop. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's the final blight. He scaled the most, he's gonna have uh, 2,000 health, which is only half as much as Ganon coming up. But we have some good weapons, and after the fight, still four more to scan. So, I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, use this some more. Boom, eat it, and go. Yes. We just gotta knock on his front door. Come on, come here. Yes! Okay. Big beat down. Ooh, even this big damage. Uh, it might break soon. He's a pushover for the first phase. Okay, um... What if we bomb him right away? What sort of stuff does that give us? Uh oh. <laughs> I wasn't in parry position there. Can I even parry? I don't know. Nope. We're gonna say no. Uh, <laughs> this does not feel like a parryable attack. <laughs> like that. Oh, I forgot to kind of track you, don't I? There we go, hit him back. This bow's still holding up, luckily. Find time for the spear. Come on, keep going. The kits, stop the regen. Okay, it's not gonna regen for a bit. Oh, what? What? No, 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 no. Uh, shatter time. Shatter away your hopes and dreams. Crap. Okay. I mean, sure. <laughs> it launched us here, though. Whoop. Nice. <laughs> okay. Those are planned. Just launch them closer. And then do a close, quick flurry. Just a satisfying backflip. Yeah. Even before you can do your ice attack. Your ice isn't very nice. Pull the charge, please. Yes. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, come on. We're doing so good. We can sacrifice two more bows. Oh, maybe not. No more bow hits. This is it. Yes! It is it! Thank you, Mifa. Okay. <laughs> Come on, go for it! Charge! Hit him down! Couple loose jabs. Badly damaged. Okay. The shatter. Ah, no. <laughs> We're so close, though. Spear donation. Oh. He's just about to spawn his ice. What do we do in this boat? What do we do? There's only one thing we can do. Oh, come on, go for it, yes, and finish. Oh, I had assessed all my options there. Literally just pull the backflip, shoot him twice. It worked. Whatever, Blight. Uh, okay, we got him. Okay, yep, we still have... That's badly damaged, I know. That's pretty much badly damaged, and... 
since we have four more, uh, there's two I'll save in kind of for later. Um, and these ones are actually two that uh, I thought worked differently when I did the first Amiibo run. We start off the very first Amiibo run by scanning in on this guy, because I thought it was just all weak materials, but actually, his drop table is unique. He's actually really good at dropping melee weapons. Second misconception was uh, thinking that Young Link was a uh, person who drops Majora's Mask stuff, when in reality, he actually shares a loot table with, uh, well, this guy. So these guys actually share a loot table that I was totally unaware of. I thought this guy was just loose materials, and I thought Young Link was just the Majora's Mask drop table. Let's get in both these and uh, hopefully get something cool like that. Chibi Link's Awakening. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dead fishies. Always the funniest. Just in that context, sorry. Ooh, a Dory. And let's see, did we get the weapon? Weapon, weapon. Oh, okay. It's just a soldier's broadsword, but with critical it. Yeah, we've been used to getting more powerful ones later. I'll take any weapon at this point. And critical it adds a little bit, so. Now we'll do the second one like it, which is uh, Young Link Smash Bros. <laughs> My main, actually. More fishies, See, same drop table. <laughs> a lot of these mighties, though, we can... <laughs> yeah. And this is gonna be... Oh, Soldier Spear, nice. <laughs> So it's something, a little bit of attack up. So it's a good way to almost guarantee some, at least effective, well, melee weapons for these two. I think we need more good luck pumpkins. I think those will be very handy. Yes, of course. Okay. Well, these are a nice pair too. First of which is the Majora's Mask one, which is cool. I, I love how he has the Goron mask in there. Sorry, Goron run enthusiasts. And we got mushrooms. At best, we'll get a cool fierce deity thing. Ooh, stamina. Soldiers claim more. Okay, more soldier stuff. <laughs> Which I'll still take it. <laughs> it's giving us all weak stuff for the finale, but uh, it's still stuff. It, it means we don't fail, which is very good. Well, compared to the first Amiibo one we did, uh, I think it'll be cool to end with the same one that we ended with last time, which was Ocarina of Time Link. Last time we got the Big Orange Sword, which really carried the run. Uh, it's only a 2% chance, but even if we don't get that, we can get some armor or even anything at this point. Scan. <laughs> Lots of meats. We'll need the health. The final one. You are. <laughs> ah, just some nice arrows. You know what? It was bound to happen. Our luck against getting uh, arrows was pretty... Uh, it was pretty good this run. You know, I can't be complaining, because even without that, uh, we still have some bow left. A broad selection of weapons, at least. And, uh, you know, shields for parrying. Let's go and charge it, but before that, just a couple things to cook. And then we'll be good. We did good on the exclusives on this run. We got Sheik Mask, Wind Waker Pants, and, uh, you know, Wind Waker Boomerang. Very nice. I'm really excited. We still have good stuff. All safe loot, but imagine if it was all arrows, we would be a little screwed. <gasps> we got, we have five Porgies, uh, four Porgies and the Carp. So we have like eight minutes of attack buff. I think that's fine for the fight. <laughs> okay, here we are. The finale of the Amiibo Run version two. <laughs> so it's been a fun journey. Uh, getting the Seabreeze Boomerang first. That looked cool, was very helpful, especially for wind blights. Uh, doing this shot where you could just literally keep throwing the boomerang at him, bouncing it back. And then just, you know, getting some gradual weapons. Even just unexpected ones, like getting, like the Moonlight Scimitar from uh, like the Riding Link Amiibo, which is a very low chance. Sheik Mask before Ruta was cool. So I feel like we managed everything almost as well as possible. Um, woo okay. We got this. I'm so hyped. And we're still bringing in our, our Class A weapons here, the Seabreeze Boomerang. With the luck of that and everything else, we have to prevail. We just have to. Oh. And then we just run. Woo! Yes. Bomb parry. But we didn't take damage, though. Yes! Okay. We might have enough stamina. Oh! And... <laughs> indeed we do. Go! Yes! Okay. And just peacefully down the stairs. Thanks. <laughs> Which way are we headed, though? Up here. Snake around. Yep. It stopped raining too. Yes! Oh, we did it! Nice! Okay. Snakey strats. How'd I go that way? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, you're a big ugly eye, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> big ugly go bye bye. And look at that. Whoa! The eclipse! Whoa! It's literally blacked out! Oh, that's so cool! <gasps> what? I love that. Holy crap! 
<laughs> I've never seen that before. Okay, I'm so excited. Uh, it's a solo job now. Got our cool stuff. Uh, you can start with the weak stuff. We gotta use the punishing stuff near the end, for sure. You know, Hardy, just in case, to save off a possible one-shot. Four-minute attack buff. Go for it. Yes. And cool Grudo shield. That's all. Okay, I'm so ready for you, Ganon. <laughs> Go <laughs> break the floor. Um, 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 um. Oh yeah, <laughs> cool slide. Anything can happen. 16 deaths. Spider Ganon. You. Oh yeah. Let's go. <laughs> we got it. Nice. Okay. Uh, start with a non-critical hit weapon. That's like no damage at all. Okay, that's more. Um. Ah! That would have been death if we didn't have those temporaries. Already? Nice. Okay. Uh, go with more. He regened all that already. Oh, man. Nice. And then quickly, too. Yep, smack. Okay. Love the critical hit. Oh, we can't dodge that, can we? Oh, come on. Another. Perry! Yes! Get him! Oh! <laughs> big boom. Nice! Okay. Eesh! Okay. Decent start, but uh, yeah. The trickle damage is really just trickle. Nice. Go for it. One hit. Two hit. We don't like gun. Stop. Okay, not, 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 not like that. Uh, oh, we still got him. Yes, okay. Hit me back, but that's fine. It's looking like nothing's changing, because it's very slow. Oh, no, we're on fire. Badly damaged bow, crap. And, yeah, fire. <laughs> but we got to save the stronger stuff for the next phase. Something about that fire is furious. Spider Ganon does not mess around. Jeez, okay. Oh, clip my shield. That's fine. That's just not a good one. <laughs> nice. Uh, it's going to hit in the fire, though, is it? It is. Uh, why? Okay, I forgot you can't flurry that when there's fire in the way. It's one little mistake. <sighs> I didn't have my shield out, I had my bow out. <laughs> yeah. I'm death looping myself, and it's more so just the fact that it's hard. Like, sometimes it just happens, and you just gotta go for it. <sighs> I did it early. Okay. Not getting out of this. I do need to take a quick break. <laughs> Okay, we'll be right back. It's always something. It just... I'm no pro. But man, I'm really trying. Okay. Let's not start with the same thing. Broadsword wipe. Okay. Ooh, the critical hit. Okay, now he's going to the wall. Ward him off with arrows. Get him down from the wall. Yep, get down. Oh, hit my shield, but that's fine. That. Okay, the headshot, you gotta get him off the wall with that. <laughs> Knights. Critical. Yes, okay. Yes, okay, keep going. Another critical. Nice. We got this. Oh, he missed, but we're alive. And we got him. Oh, it took care of the ball immediately. Didn't expect that. Good. Yes. Okay. Just what we needed. He's getting close to the quarter now. 
Yes! Okay. That's a free hit. Free way to take him down. And another. Come on, we're so close to the half. Yes, okay. Oh. Broke. Okay. Boomerang time. Yes, free hit. Okay, good. It broke it. Damn. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, that was too close. You know what? I think we can finish him down. Whittle him with the Knight's Broadsword. Gotta use it now. Five. Yes, okay. Okay. We're Knight territory. He gets harder, but so do we, Ganon. Leaves a very good window for us. Very nice. Okay. And again with the critical. Boom. Just flay him down some more. Halfway through the sea. Okay. Bomb parry. Crap. Again. A real parry. I prefer those. Come on. Beat him down. Barely. What? Oh no. Uh oh. Not good. This is a powerful one. Two, three. Pass the sea now. Critical. Yes. Okay. Okay. Knight's Claymore. Don't know how much health it has left. We need to attack up. Oh. I saw that badly damaged. Oh, damn it. We missed our window. Parry that. And what do we need? We need another arrow, didn't we? Okay, keep going. It's your time to shine. Just a bit. Jump, cancel. Nice. Oh. Gotta get max use out of something. I don't know which way to go. Sea breeze time. Come on. <gasps> no, boomerang. Okay. You served a good life. Oh, yes. Okay. Um. Might be one of the last ones. Two. Three. Oh. Oh, he's back in the wall. We only have one weapon and it's low. Okay. We can stop regen. Yes. Like that. Oh, come on. He's so close. Last weapon. Please. Please, please, please. You're so close. Yes. Oh, wow. That was the last one. <gasps> Oh man, we actually did it. It was probably like five hits away from being destroyed. Like almost no bow left, no weapon. And we actually just barely, barely got him. An absolute tank and monster, but that's it. They pulled through, they really pulled through for us. We finally got him. Wow, oh man. I think it's safe to say I owe a large portion of the victory to the first Amiibo run we did. Not only was it my first ever challenge run video, but it's what inspired me to keep going with all the runs we've done over the last two years. And the journey has been excellent. With your guys' amazing support over these, our channel has now hit the insane milestone of 250,000 of you guys. So thanks for being a part of this fun, fast community. I want to give my biggest thanks to all of the supports, and the odds of more great things to come after this are very high. Can't wait for what's to come in the new year, between more Breath of the Wild and its soon-to-release sequel. So, I will see you all next time. Goodbye!